seeing all of the uh, animals, nature. That was a beautiful uh, thing of the trip. Dolphins swam along with us. We saw beautiful birds, from frigate birds to uh, blue-footed boobies, and uh, I don't know, very, very special uh, things. Landscapes were beautiful. The skies were always beautiful at sea. Um, I think in that sense it was a very uh, unique uh, experience. I'm glad I was able to explore uh, a little bit of how our Earth is doing at the moment. So, um, I remember as a child the first thing that I was encountered with when it comes to uh, you know, the environment or problems with the environment uh, was the rainforest. And uh, I'm very glad uh, that was one of my uh, special uh, uh, subjects, I think, to uh, explore the rainforest in, in a different way. Um, you know, we know that I mean, as a child, I even knew that it was threatened and being uh, you know, chopped down, and that as the lungs of the earth, as they said uh, at the time, um, you know, they were endangered and endangered us as a species and uh, all the other animals with it. And although we didn't find a solution in the, in the episode of how uh, you know how to cope with this exactly, because also economic factors and everything plays a part. There was a hopeful connotation, I thought, in the way of the approach of that particular episode. In that uh, mankind has not always, per definition, been bad for the rainforest. There have been people who live together with the rainforest and uh, who have managed it in a certain way that it even increased biodiversity. And uh, I think that was an approach that I since, I, since my childhood and since my youth, had not heard before. On a personal level, maybe it has um, humbled me uh, in a way that when I look at nature or uh, and even the experiences, of course. I think I started out the trip much more skeptical of possibilities that we could, of, of our possibilities to, to help the earth. And I have got the impression that many, many people are working on it. Yeah, and driving. Um, through on the Australian, uh, Western Australian territory on the back of a ute truck with uh, the, a real crocodile dundee kind of man <laughs> with a rifle uh, sticking out of his, uh, watching the kangaroos go by, the uh, Ingus. The lava was certainly adventurous. You mean really like as a per, is there one person specifically that, oh no, I haven't done that. No, no. Not, not really, but I have, you know, comes from that very many. Me to learn that there were Aboriginal uh, groups in uh, Australia, people who have at least ancestry, Aboriginal ancestry, who all, uh, also were trying to prove that they're Dutch, that they have Dutch heritage. I thought that was quite, a, yeah, quite an extraordinary uh, find. I, I, I didn't know that. I had no idea that we even could have had ties. And, uh, whether we really do is, of course, still remains uh, open, but I thought that was a very interesting uh, yeah, uh, thing to explore. I've had my turn now. I'd really like to hear from you, the viewers, how this program has affected you. Please put your comments on the internet.